Well, good day, guys, and welcome back to another video of Old Car Guy. Today, we are doing a first on this channel. We're going to a junkyard to pick up something very special for a future project. So stay tuned. So at this point, you may be wondering what the special project is. Well, we don't exactly know yet. You see, I had mentioned in previous videos and previous live streams that I got a good deal on an LS motor. So today is the day we go and we pick that up and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. But the only concern that we have today is fuel. As many of you know, old Dale here is only averaging about 14 miles to the gallon. We've got 135-ish miles to travel today, round trip. And I'm less than a quarter of a tank, so we're going to have to stop and get some gas before we head too much further. But uh, I wonder if we can make it all the way there and back on a tank of fuel. We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, we're on our way. Uh, if you haven't yet done so and you're not a subscriber of this channel, I encourage you to go down and hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video or go live. And that way you can stay up to date with Old Car Guy. We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year right now. We're almost at 4,200. So you might be able to help us get there. If we can do that, we're going to blow up a PT Cruiser. That is your reward for being a part of this channel. So I hope you stay tuned. hope you click that subscribe button. And we'll catch up with you guys here in just a little bit. guys we've made it here to the junkyard and we're about to travel in and show you this Chevy half ton that we're gonna be taking the motor out of and uh, all the wiring and all that stuff so let's get in there let's take a look so this is the truck this is the 2003 Chevy Silverado and it does have everything there as far as I can tell. It's got the fuse panel, which is what I wanted because I got to get the wiring harness out of it. Now, keep in mind, we traveled about 70 miles uh, to come take a look at this thing today. And under the impression that it was supposed to be a 5.3 liter uh, V8. And upon further inspection, once we actually get here, it is just a 4.8. So when you hear the term, too good to be true, Ultimately, the uh, price on this was going to be 400 bucks, and so I kind of jumped at that. And when I told my one of the wiring harness saved, and that I would come up and take it out myself, uh, he said 300 bucks. So for 300 bucks on an LS motor that has 150k on it, which is about 90,000 miles, I still think I'm going to take it. Um, we may use it for a future project down the road in something. Um, not sure what, like I said, I was hoping for the higher horsepower. Uh, the specs on these back in 2003, I believe, was right around 200 horsepower, 250 foot-pounds of torque or so. And if that's not right, I'll leave the, uh, the specs up here. So it's not much different than, you know, a stock 350, really, but it is fuel injection and uh, it does have a few extras and we can probably tune this up a bit. I mean, we all saw what Cletus McFarland did with Ruby when he was using the Junkyard 4.8. Granted, he was drag racing, he was beating on him pretty hard. So anyways, I think we will still try and salvage this and see what we can get out of here today. We're going to start with the wiring harness. Which means we've got to get the fuse panel flipped upside down and get a few things pulled out of it and then start pulling away at this harness as well as this one down here with the computer, which we're going to be taking the computer as well. So I'm going to gather some tools and I think we're just going to start with a little bit of a time lapse and uh, see what's going to be involved in getting this wiring harness out of here.
Okay, so let's give you an update of where we are so far. Uh, we've got the fuse panel out. And as we come up through here, I started getting things labeled just so that I wouldn't remember what they were. That was plugged into the AC. Uh, that wasn't plugged into anything. And then we've got the coolant temp. This all went over to the side. And the coil wires all plugged in to one harness. So there's only one plug in, uh, which is this big one here. And then these are all your injectors. So those all come off with that main harness. So there is a left and a right to that. I believe this goes down to the oil pressure switch. And there's another sensor underneath the intake, which I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get out. But where we are right now is we've got this main harness going down the back of the motor. And I believe it's probably going to the transmission. And I'm not quite sure how we're going to get at it. Um, if we cut it, then we got to make sure that we match up the wires to the new harness that we get from whatever. But that's where we are right now. I'm trying to convince myself to take the intake off to get down in there. But we'll see where that leads so far. But I do have uh, the computer uh, controls here uh, that'll plug into the computer, uh, which we're going to keep because obviously we'll need that to uh, run the vehicle. And I've kept the fuse panel right here because all the engine harness is that big middle plug-in that I undid. So we're probably going to need that at some point to make everything run. And probably a good idea to uh, keep this fuse uh, box cover here because it tells you where everything is and what's this? Gotta be kidding me. On August the 19th, 2004, according to this, this vehicle had 395,000 kilometers. I don't know what the math is on that, but that's well over 200. And that was six years ago. Son of a gun. This was supposed to be a 5.3 with 150k. We get here, it's a 4.8 with almost 400,000 kilometers. That's a piss off. That, that motor ain't worth five cents as far as I'm concerned. And as it sits right now, we've got about an hour's work into it. An hour and a half's drive to get up here. Need to take a break. Well, I guess I've come to a decision on what I want to do. I don't want that motor. Too many miles, too many unknowns. Although I've got the wiring harness out of it, and the computer and the fuse box, I may still be able to make use of this even if it is just maybe selling it and you know making up some money and some time for uh, coming all the way up here. So I'm going to go speak to the owner, um, see what kind of a deal I can come up with and uh, we'll be heading out of here so I'll talk to you soon. Well guys today wasn't all lost. <clears throat> I managed to get the computer and the wiring harness. I spoke to the owner very good to deal with and he understood exactly uh, what went wrong anyways he just said look take the computer take the wiring harness and uh, fuse panel whatever he says take it you did all the work you got it out yourself just take it and go I said fair enough thank you very much and I was on my way so I should be able to maybe turn that over or maybe I'll get to use it someday uh, and make sure that I have everything that I need uh, when the time comes to do an LS swap on something and secondly, uh, this junkyard is in a neighborhood where my grandparents and great-grandparents are buried. So I came up here and I got to have lunch with uh, my grandmother. So it was just a little bit off the beaten path. I stopped in and uh, we had a little chat and next we're headed back home. So this is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed my uh, little trip to the junkyard and, uh, you know, tearing apart 
this LS motor. I'm gonna get on the road and we'll close out this video. So we're on our way home now and uh, that's gonna call it quits for this video. Don't forget the Car Guy and Six Fan Show will be airing every Thursday evening at seven o'clock central, eight eastern. Myself and my co-host Grant Tommy, who is straight six fan, we host a show about cars. We have guests, generally car related. And if you like cars, you like talking about cars, you like listening to guys talk about cars, well, it might be the show for you. Uh, if you don't catch the live feed, you can always catch it after as well as we have a podcast which airs a couple of days later on SoundCloud. Just look for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. And like always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear of your mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.